the hybrid 5-0 and in its mixed martial arts career. Played college football at Colorado. He was a fullback. Played in the Arena Football League. Was on the Buffalo Bills practice squad before returning to his native Colorado to be in training in mixed martial arts full-time. Talented, heavy-handed, energetic, and looking to beat the bigger, more experienced Roy Nelson and become the ultimate fighter, Brendan, the hybrid shop. Yeah, this kid has got a lot of promise, Mike. Win, lose, or draw tonight. He has a very, very bright future ahead of him. Like, like he said, I, I believe that he has a significant advantage in training at altitude as well. Training in Denver, I mean, he's always there, always living there at that high altitude, so he's got so much more red blood cells in his tissues. I think this is a phenomenal fight. Brendan Shaw, the up-and-coming guy with not as much experience, but so many skills. Former Golden Gloves champion, purple belt in jiu-jitsu, solid wrestling, and really showed a tremendous amount of heart on the show, especially in the fight against Marcus Jones. Marcus is a gigantic guy. Marcus had a mountain and was dropping bombs on him. Never lost his composure, kept it together, and got the victory. Greg Jackson, Trevor Whitman, you can go down the list as we just talked about, Joe. Team Rampage, he beat D'Amico Rogers, John Madsen, and then as you mentioned, Marcus Jones. He has finished all of his fit official professional opponents in the first round, his longest fight, one minute and 27 seconds. Brendan Schaub, 6'4", nearly 250 pounds. Bound, but he is quick and he's elusive and he's explosive and you know you don't judge a book by its cover because he moves around extremely well and that's the one thing that was a bit of a surprise during the six weeks in the house for Rashad Evans. I mean just imagine what the guy would look like or how he moved if he was in shape. Good point. I mean it's really incredible. He does use that body weight though to his advantage and if you've ever rolled with a really good guy that's got a lot of weight on him they really can use that to hold you down. Roy does do that. The question is is he going to be able to get Brandon Schaub down? Is he going to be able to hold him down? Is he going to be able to deal with the stand-up long reach of Brandon Schaub? Brandon's got big power. We saw that in the show where, he, you know, he, he utilized that power to stop Marcus Jones with a big right hand. Very interesting matchup. Our tale of the tape for the heavyweight final is brought to you by Teppa. An expression of combat known worldwide. 33-year-old Nelson against 26-year-old Schaub. Schaub, four inches taller. Roy Nelson weighed in at 263. Brendan Schaub will have a five-inch reach advantage with the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, two men have now entered the octagon to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other to determine who will be the Ultimate Fighter Season 10 Heavyweight winner as this is the main event of the evening! Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission with Chairman Pat Lundball and Executive Director Keith Kaiser. 
Commissioners in attendance are Bill Brady, lead physician, Dr. Anthony Ruggeroli. Our three judges scoring this octagon contest are Glenn Trowbridge, Tony Weeks, and Cecil Peoples. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. And now, live from the Pearl at the Palms in Las Vegas, it's time! Three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of five wins with no losses. Standing six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Brendan the Hybrid Shaw. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kung fu fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins with four losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Roy Big Country Nelson. All right, gentlemen, we know the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna keep this fight clean, touch gloves, make it official. Big Country against the hybrid. Ironically, one of the wins in Nelson's MMA career was over Brad Imes, who Rashad Evans beat to become season two's heavyweight winner. This is our main event. And our fight clock is sponsored by UFC Undisputed. So you want to be a fighter? Team Rashad against Team Rashad. Oh, good quickness displayed early by Brendan Schaub. Roy Nelson wants to get this fight down and get this fight down fast. Yeah, Brendan's got a nice jab. And there Roy he's looking for it. He goes for it. Brandon shucks it off and lands a couple nice shots. Oh, good combination by Brendan. Roy's got the clinch. This is where he's so powerful, Joe. So good at using that man. He's got Brendan down. And this is where he uses his size to beat down his opponents. He loves to utilize the crucifix position, use his weight, immobilize his opponent. Yeah, he is, I mean, you, you look at him, his looks are deceiving. He is a very high-level Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. And like I said, he uses that weight to his advantage. Having all that weight around his midsection makes it easier for him to hold guys down. Three-sport athlete, wrestling football, baseball at Cimarron Memorial High School. His first jiu-jitsu trainer was UFC veteran John Lewis. He's working for an Americana on Brendan's arm. We saw Brendan when he got mounted by Marcus Jones, kept his composure. Yep. Nelson's game plan is very simple, and he even said it in the, in the feature, Joe. He said, yeah, that's what I do, and unless you stop it, I'm gonna do it to you. Yeah, he is moving into that same position, that crucifix position. So good at holding guys down. His top game is so powerful. You look, look out for the arm, the right arm of Brendan Schaub. If he can isolate that right arm, he's gonna move right into that same crucifix position that we saw him stop both James McSweeney and Kimbo Slice. Brendan Schaub! Back, back to his feet. Shab going to look to utilize the one-two. That quick jab again, big swing. Brandon's landed a good combination here. The hybrid. Rashad Evans coached both of these men on the show. Oh, clipped him. Nelson swinging back. That's a big dude, Joe. Job with a reach advantage, as we showed you on the tail of the tape. Don't forget, 30 minutes from now, you'll see some of the unbelievable ways people have met their maker in an all-new episode of A Thousand Ways to Die. And immediately following our show tonight, Spike has Mansers. Good oh, hand right hand. Country. Brandon going to the body. I don't know if Roy even feels those. So, Joe, as soon as we're done, 
It's Mansers, and then 1,000 ways to die here on Spike. Another good right hand by Big Country. Another thing deceptive about Big Country is his cardio. He's a big fat guy, but he's in good shape. I mean, it's, it's, they seem to not work together, but it's, that's real. Hey, you're funny. You should be a comedian. <laughs> It's the ultimate fighter! Wow! Man! Roy Nelson explodes on Brendan Schaub, rubs the Buddha out of nowhere. I'm telling you, big country is no joke. Take up, there's Rashad's reaction. Fight replay brought to you by Avatar. Man. Here it comes again. Right behind the ear. And then another one right to the jaw. Brendan Schaub out cold. Here we see it again. Bam. Right to the temple area. He goes down and Big Country drops the final bomb on him. Man. <laughs> How about that guy being the UFC heavyweight champion? <laughs> I mean, we've seen crazier things. Ultimate Fighter winner, season 10. Big country, Roy Nelson. Never judge a book by its cover, people. He's a big fat guy in great shape, and you know what? He's the ultimate fighter. Because, boom! Powerful punch. Back of the year. That's where Brock Lesnar caught Randy Couture in the heavy fight. Big country. Used the experience advantage in the house, and it showed here tonight. Congratulations. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, three minutes and 45 seconds of the very first round has marked the winner of the Ultimate Fighter Season 10. And now, Roy Big Country Nelson! Dana White will make the presentation to Big Country. Roy, congratulations. You are the Ultimate Fighter Season 10. You get the six-figure contract with the UFC and the trophy. Congratulations. Good job. All right, I'm here with Roy Big Country Nelson. You're a happy man right now. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. A little tired. I mean, I want to go get Burger King now. So, I'm, but I'm good though. Now, you went into this show as easily the most experienced fighter in the house, and that experience really paid off, and it really showed. Not really. I think Kimbo had the most experience. He had more backyard brawls than I have. More backyard brawls, but more professional, high-level fights for sure. You had the most experience. Yeah, no, I, I was definitely the underdog dog coming in, but, you know, I'm just a fat guy, so it's okay. Well, you're a lot more than just a fat guy. You're a fat guy who can fight his ass off. Now, you've won the Ultimate Fighter. You're in the UFC. What's next? Uh, whoever Dana gives me and uh, Joe Silva and Lorenzo, it really doesn't matter. I'm ready to step in with any of the heavyweights that we have. Well, congratulations on an awesome performance. You are the Ultimate Fighter, Roy Big Country Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. Big Country. He was just teasing Coach Rashad about the Q&A at the Fight Club, saying, I heard you were pushing for yesterday. He's like, I got to stick with my teammate. But you know what? He did exactly what many believed he could because of that experience, because of being an IFL heavyweight champion, and because of being the man who possessed all kinds of power. Congratulations to Roy Big Country Nelson, Season 10's Ultimate Fighter winner.